Hello learners, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and today we are going to talk about the shoulder joint which the question which was asked by Zainab Kadir which, he, which she said make a video on shoulder joint all right so let's get started with our understanding of the shoulder joint so the shoulder joint is actually a glenohumeral joint which is actually formed between the uh, node cavity of the scapula and the head of the humerus so humerus is a bone which is an arm bone and the scapula which is your backbone over here and this is the location of the scapula and it is actually uh, this joint is formed between two bones that is the head of the humerus and the glenoid cavity which is actually a cavity a groove some groove uh, 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 on the scapula where this joint this joint is formed so this joint is actually a synovial joint and mostly people call it and accordingly it is a ball and socket joint so uh, the glenoid cavity uh, and I will show you in this picture the glenoid cavity is actually uh, shallow and made deeper by a uh, labrum. labrum called the glenoid labrum which is actually a cartilaginous you know a kind of ring of cartilaginous joint surrounding the uh, area leaving the uh, uh, the uh, glenoid uh, fossa in between uh, you know in which the uh, ball fits perfectly you know it kind of this labrum actually kind of deepens uh, the uh, glenoid cavity so this ring is continuous with the tendon uh, it's also continuous with the tendon of the biceps brinchi above all right and let's just talk about the capsule but capsule i cannot show here in this picture i will talk few other things in, uh, in this picture i'll just uh, show in the other picture uh, uh, picture above over here and they look for the capsule so capsule is actually a very loose joint capsule especially in this case and it's because of this loose capsule um, the uh, the uh, this joint is is movable you know due to this joint capsule is most mobile joint of the body and uh, the capsule which is over here is all is called the articular capsule of humerus now just let's discuss the muscles of the uh, uh, this joint the glenohumeral joint or you can call the shoulder joint uh, okay let's just say we have especially two kinds of muscles actually one is a group of muscles another is um, uh, the uh, 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 biceps brinchi so what happens uh, actually shoulder joint leg strong ligaments it has no strong ligament and it's actually a muscle dependent joint you should clear in your mind it is most mostly depend on muscles because we leg strong ligaments so we have primary stabilizer of shoulder joint we have two types of muscles actually one is a group of muscle and one is number one is actually biceps brinchi which is on the anterior side of the humerus here it is we got this one which is the long head I mean by the long head of uh, biceps brinchi this one which passes in this groove and crosses the head of the humerus and attaches backward and we have another uh, other three group of muscles called these are the three group of muscle uh, three muscles grouped together called the rotator cuff all right you can call them rotator cuff muscles which actually include three muscles called the supraspinatus infraspinatus and teres minor so this is uh, the above the this muscle is supraspinatus and uh, over here we got infraspinatus muscle and this is the last one which is teres minor this these three uh, work together in the uh, glenoid humeral joint and the number four muscle which we have already talked about that is bicep brinchi which actually partake part in uh, this joint so rotator cuff muscles which are actually fused to on the all side of the capsule except on the inferior margin look we don't have uh, these muscles on the inferior margin which are actually surrounding the whole capsule from all sides and uh, over here maybe sometimes somebody asks you which muscle actually helps in pressing head of the humerus against the glenoid cavity so you would be probably going to answer it is the uh, long head of the biceps femoris this is this is the muscle you use you can see here in this diagram it actually pushes this backward so it keeps the glenoid glenoid uh, humeral joint together and this uh, this joint uh, a little bit stronger now let's just say now let's just talk about the ligaments uh, we are not going to do in detail about the ligaments we are just going to name the uh, ligaments 
and uh, we are also going to talk about nerve supply and blood uh, blood supply not going to detail just going to naming them and understanding a little bit about them so you actually got four important ligaments in this uh, shoulder joint so number one uh, which is the uh, superior middle inferior these three together uh, which is actually the glenohumeral ligament which is actually on the superior side inferior side and on the middle side and other one is coraco uh, Another is the coraquiohumeral ligament. Number three is transverse humeral ligament. Number four is coracoacromenal ligament. These four ligaments are actually a form are found in between this joint in this joint about the nerve okay. supply. All right, uh, nerve supply. We are not going into detail. I told you already, but the nerve supply is actually these. The nerve supply, which uh, which supplies this joint, actually all these nerve supply arises from the brachial plexus. So uh, there are three main supplies to this joint. And the number one is supracapsular nerve, uh, supracapsular nerve, and number two is axillary nerve, and number three is lateral pectoral nerve. So these three nerves supply uh, this uh, little humeral joint. And what about the blood supply? So blood supply is blood is actually supplied by the branches of anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery and the supracapsular artery and the caps capsular circumflex artery. So this uh, joint may seem a little complex. Uh, but it's not that much complex it's easy to understand we got uh, uh, let's just uh, take a summary it's joint found between two bones that is the um, uh, head of the humerus all right and the glenoid cavity of the scapula three main muscles uh, uh, effectively four main muscles but we uh, now we group together three muscles these are called the uh, cuff rotators which is uh, uh, the upper one is uh, supraspinatus uh, on the inferior is infraspinatus and the most inferior is uh, on the uh, posterior side of the scapula is called the teres minor and in the anterior side we have got one muscle and this is called uh, the long head of the biceps brachii. So this is just the basic idea of the shoulder joint. If you want to understand it in much more detail, we are going to upload a real detail about in which we are going to explain the each and every muscles of uh, this uh, this joint where they arise from and their blood supply, their nerve supply. We are going to make a long and special video about the shoulder joint. So this is the just basic understanding of uh, the shoulder joint. For more, please visit Tag the Schooling and clear your understandings.